and for my audio requirements, I'm listening to sounds through these smart speakers, which ensure my music won't disturb my fellow beach hounds. Now, of course, I could listen to my music through headphones like all those other saps, but I have the Audio Spotlight, which uses ultrasound to create a highly directional sound, two meters either side, and you can hear nothing. Look at this. Nothing. Nothing. Yeah, something. My comfort is in hand. There is only one thing missing, the thing that drives people from these shores year in, year out, the thing that they are desperately in search of. Here comes the sun and a Beatles reference, suspended from the arm of a giant 50-foot crane. The sun, not the Beatles reference. This quarter-ton gadget sun's halogen lamps blast out 48,000 watts of light twice as powerful as the real midday sun, instantly raising the ambient air temperature by five degrees centigrade. And although the actual sun is more impressive, it's not ordinarily available in South End. A delight. No need to hang around in airports, remonstrate with cabin boys, or get your knees crushed by Finnish businessmen ever again. Well, it would seem churlish to keep this marvellous spectacle to myself, so I must, given that this is a public beach, allow the public onto it. Sign in. There goes the neighbourhood. Yesterday was filled with rain. Sign in. You smiled at me and you the great thing about the artificial sun is that it never sets, allowing you to enjoy the discomfort of high temperatures long into the night. Though the eve has glided into night's glassy embrace, it's still 25 degrees under the gadget sun, and its tanning UV rays have set off the automated sun cream dispenser. What well, the gadget sun was really cool. I was surprised about how much heat and light came out of it. Well, it's actually really boiling. It's actually so hot. If I had the nice heat and weather, I would tan nicely. So that would save me money on fake tan and money on going abroad. So I kind of kill two birds with one stone. So what have we all learnt this time? Yes, gadgets can make even a holiday abroad enjoyable, but it's better to bring that holiday to you and, where possible, to construct a replica sun. I'm going to walk into the sea now and see what it does to me. 